Monica Freaks, what's up? Lord Stompy here, and I've got a really bad cold, so please bear with me. All right, today I wanted to show you a winning blues harp amplifier and microphone combination. What do we have here? This, my friends, is a Philips EL6112. Uh, it's an old Philips microphone from the 1950s. Uh, these things uh, they came out with Philips home recording units, so that, that would have been reel-to-reel -reel, uh, four-track tape recorders, most likely back then. Maybe even two-track, I'm not sure. So they're not a crystal mic, for starters. They're some kind of really high-impedance diaphragm mic. Uh, we're talking 20,000 ohms here, so it's something much more like a green bullet, Okay, and uh, these microphones have got almost no top end and tons of mid-range honk. It's just all mid-range honk. And if you love that dirty mud bucket blues, that's exactly what you want, all right? So uh, I bought this microphone off eBay. I think I paid about $90. They're reasonably common and they sound great, and I've got two of them. I scored uh, each one I got for under a hundred dollars. Uh, they actually come with some funky, weird, old-fashioned stand, too. But <clears throat> I don't have the stand here. But down on the bottom, there's this cute uh, brass screw, and the brass screw is this massive screw that holds it on the stand. So. They make a really good art deco piece when you when you take them home and uh, mount them on the mantelpiece. Um, on top of that, uh, when you get them, you have to uh, get somebody to solder on a modern jack because they come with some old-fashioned jack that I don't even know what kind of jack they come with. That's how old-fashioned it is. Rightio, let's check the amplifier out. Uh, <clears throat> the infamous Laney Cub. So what I was using today, that's a Laney Cub 10, as you could see. So uh, let's have a look at the settings that I used. Tone on zero, volume on three, and gain all the way up to 10. And here we have two inputs, uh, high and low. So. We definitely had that microphone plugged through the high ohm input there. So the Laney Cub 10s, uh, the whole Cub series actually, there's a, there's a Cub 8, a Cub 10 and a Cub 12. I first learned about these amplifiers about a year and a half ago. I saw Adelaide's uh, amazing player, a guy called Bobby Blues. Uh, he, just, he was just producing this awesome thick honky tone on stage and he was using a Laney Cub 12 and an old Ronette microphone okay so 
and that he just had a plugged in stock like I did today. There's so there's no messing around, uh, no need for expensive mods, no need to run your microphone through an extended pedal board setup to get that sound. All you have to do is just buy a Laney amplifier and one of those microphones and you're good to go. So what I've found with the Laney amplifiers, uh, the cub amplifiers that we're using is they're, uh, they're very jazzy, right? They've not got the Fender twang that guitarists look for in an amplifier. Uh, they've got a very mid-rangey, warm, rounded sound. <coughs> <coughs> Hang on a sec, folks. <coughs> and when when you crank the gain up to ten, they break up beautifully. They really get those those warm valve sounds going. <coughs> but also, I play a little bit of <coughs> guitar as well, and they're reasonably good guitar amps. You know, uh, sometimes I do prefer a little bit more twang, but no, they've got a very classy sort of what you call the uh, subdued jazz sound. It's they kind of tend to make your your guitar sound like a um, a Gibson with humbuckers, or no matter which guitar you use, it just sounds really warm, really warm and round. So uh, that that's a little tone secret for you there. The uh, <clears throat> The Laney Cub series, great all-rounder amplifier uh, for guitar or harmonica. And as you can hear, really delivers the goods. And you can pick up these, uh, the Laney Cub amps, uh, anything from a couple of hundred dollars upwards. Uh, and the Laney Cub 12s, which are the most expensive ones, I think they're going for about $800 in you. So... Uh, pretty cheap really when you consider the tone that you're getting and uh, all the fun and all the love that you can spread throughout the world <laughs> using your harmonica and a Laney amplifier well worth the effort all right people cheers take care god bless